See, here's the boy. He's well enough to read a book. Just then, Nana caught sight of the rabbit. How about this old bunny? She asked. Will it have to be thrown away? That, yes, said the doctor. It's a mass of germs. Get rid of it at once. So, this is what happened. Nana got a bag and she started to put all the toys in the bag. She put all the toys and all the books and even the ball. She put all the toys that the boy had played with and the last thing she did was throw in the bunny. The little rabbit was put into a sack with all the old books and all the old toys and a lot of other rubbish and carried outside to the garden. And the gardener came the next morning and said he would just burn the whole thing. That night, the boy slept in a different bedroom. He had a new bunny. He had a new bunny that had plush, fluffy fur and real glass eyes. And it even had a place for batteries. So this was the new bunny. You want to hold the new bunny? And while the boy dreamed at the seaside, the little rabbit lay in the bag among all the old books and toys. He felt so lonely. But finally, by wiggling around a little bit, he was able to get his head out. And he looked around. He was shivering, for by this time his coat had worn so thin from hugging that it was no longer any protection. Nearby he could see some raspberry canes. He felt very sad. You can see how sad he looks. And then a tear a very real tear started here and rolled down his face and fell onto the ground. And where that teardrop hit the ground, there was a flower. And that flower turned into a fairy. The fairy stepped out and gathered the little rabbit up to her and said, little rabbit, I am the nursery magic fairy. I take care of playthings that the children have loved. And when they are worn out and the children don't need them anymore, then I come and take them away with me and make them real. And she held the little rabbit close in her arms and flew with him into the woods and the open glade between the tree trunks where all the wild rabbits where all the wild rabbits lived. And when the wild rabbits saw the fairy, they stood around a ring to stare at her. They'd never seen the fairy before. I brought you a new playfellow, said the fairy. You must be very kind to him and teach him all he needs to know because he's going to live with you forever and ever and ever. And she kissed the little rabbit and put him down on the grass. Run and play, little rabbit, she said. Run and play. But the little rabbit was still quite still. He remembered about his hind legs. He did not know that the fairy had changed him altogether. But just then something tickled his nose. 